Back in the saddle again Out where a friend is a friend <sighs> Well, it's been less than an hour since I woke up in Doc Mitchell's clinic, and I already saved a woman's life. Damn, I work fast! Oh, if I keep this up, I'll be in Vegas before nightfall, capping raiders and drop-kicking super mutants along the way. Uh, maybe I was cut out to do this since the beginning, and the whole courier thing was just a side job. Savior of the Wasteland sure sounds a lot better on my resume than Delivery Boy. What do you think, Sarge? Now that was some good work. Damn straight. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Nice. One more thing I wanted to show you. Yep. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Oh, so that's the combat part of the training over, is it? Uh, I was hoping for a little bit more, but... Hey, you know best, so... Yeah, let's do this. Alright then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Right, okay. So, Xander root and Brock flower. Xander root and Brock flower. Uh, somehow I've gone from a gecko hunter to a florist. Uh, let's see how many other different potential occupations I can list down today. It'll definitely help when I find a new job. Let's see. Where am I heading? Mm. Okay. So, back towards town. Yeah, I could do that. Mm, I'll run. So, what can I put down the list already? Well, I'm a courier. That's an obvious one. I'm also a gecko hunter, as I already proved. With style. And I also saved your ass, so you better not forget to tell everyone about that. Uh, I'm also a florist, but I should probably leave that one out if I ever apply for a mercenary job. Come to think of it, Doc Mitchell's recruitment program, or family history form as he calls it, didn't even ask for a past occupation. But then again, I'm not sure I want to work as a merc for a doctor. I mean, what the hell would I be doing? Attacking rival doctors? Huh. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that building is the schoolhouse. And this is obviously the shack of some patriotic and nostalgic fellow. Actually, I'm not sure what I want to do for a job. I'll just take whatever I get and see if I like it, I suppose. Hopefully it'll be something a bit more hardcore than what I'm doing so far, like professional arm wrestling or something like that. If I start losing, I could just pull out a gun. The other guy would be losing his grip, that's for sure. Oh, uh, okay, what the hell are those? I don't know, but they don't look friendly, and they're way too small to shoot. Okay, stay back, you little bastards. I've got a shovel, and I'm not afraid to use- OW! FUCK! DIE! Just die for God's sake! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! That thing ripped right through the trouser leg! Oh, am I bleeding? I hope not! What the hell are these things? Are they mantises? Oh, of course they are, I remember. I've seen these things before. They're vicious little fuckers. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can rip off their forearms and grill them. So, at least they're useful to a certain extent. Damn it, I need a knife. Oh, I sure hope those things won't appear in swarms. That could get ugly. I'd get more than just a bleeding shin if that happens. Okay, I'm going to assume these are the Xander root. Actually, they look familiar as well. Maybe I already know what Sunny is planning to teach me with these. Mm. Ah. What the hell? Ah! God. Oh! God, these things are deep! Right. Oh! Come on! God. Okay, let's see if I can get this in one! Oh! Whew! Yeah, either those things are meant to be hard to pull out, or I need to work on my upper body strength. I'd like to think it's the former, but truth be told, I don't think I'll be strong enough for hand-to-hand -hand combat if I ever find myself in that situation. I guess that's my professional arm wrestling dream out of the window. <sighs> hmm. I don't know why, but I'm getting the impression I'm supposed to slice these roots up. Well, either that's my brain telling me how to prepare them, 
Or I'm just getting a little bit upset with the whole getting a knife thing. <sighs> Come to think of it, I've got a reasonable amount of caps now. I should probably stop by the general store and see if they have one in stock. Or at least some other form of cutting tool. Someone else might try to suppress this psychotic urge in fear of turning into a murderer. But I say fuck my conscience. Those geckos aren't gonna skin themselves. Wow. This place is a dump. I mean, it's not the fanciest store I've ever seen, perhaps, but, you know, it does have a certain, I don't know, cozy charm towards it. Howdy. Please don't throw me out. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Um, okay, but I'm only here for a knife. And if you're gonna start asking awkward questions about that, then I'm leaving, okay? Let me have a look. Can do. Whoa, shit, that's a lot of crap you're selling. Uh, let's see. Aha, knife. Whoa, that is expensive. This thing has better be worth it. Man, I need more money. Another satisfied customer. Well, that remains to be seen, buddy. If this thing breaks the moment I use it, I'm getting my money back. Just you wait. Actually, before I go, I don't suppose you know who shot me. The leader was a New Vegas type. Oh, really? Typical city boy. Huh. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. Cons? The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Okay, okay. Slow down for a minute here. The great cons. I I'm assuming there's some kind of tribe, or a raider gang or something. Uh, well, I'm kind of new here, so anything else you can tell me about them? I would appreciate it. They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by great cons. Oh, great. Fantastic. It's bad enough these guys are raider gangs, but they had to be chem junkies too. Okay, now about New Vegas. Uh, what's it like? Have you ever been there before? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Okay. Forgive me for being ignorant on the account that I don't know anything about this place. Who's Mr. House? What's his role in all this? I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. Victor? If Mr. House is looking after you. It's gotta be a good thing, right? Uh, I always thought it was a bit convenient of him to have been there just in time to dig me out. But why would he do that? Well, thanks for the info. I'll keep asking around, I guess. But back to merchandise. You were saying something about weapon mods and special ammo? Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow-point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Um, I've definitely heard those terms before, so I guess I'll check them out once I get more money. And what about the surplus ammo you talked about? What's up with them? Why are they cheaper? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Um, look, that was a lot of information for me to digest, and I was kind of in the middle of something. So, I'll come back here later, okay? Take it easy now. Haha, <laughs> thanks. I'll try. Okay, this has just gotten a lot more complicated. I was right about the gang who attacked me being organized, but... Not only that, they've got a serious reputation out here. To them, ambushing a courier was probably just child's play. Not that I'm saying I won't deal with them, mind you. Hell, they'll never look at letters and parcels in the same way again once I'm done with them. Okay, so where is this cemetery? Ah, okay, I see. 
but only when the time is right, you know. And I am not ready for that yet. And what about this other guy from Vegas? I, I know who he used as his muscles, but I still don't know anything about him, the brains of the operation. I mean... Wait a minute. What's that over there? Is that a giant crucifix? <laughs> what? Why is that there? I didn't know Jesus died in Vegas. Oh, hell, maybe he tried to cheat at the card table. No wonder he got caught. But as I was saying, what did that guy want with my package? Is he gonna sell it? It's obviously more than just a poker chip, but surely only a few people would actually know its true value. Oh dear god, what is that? I've seen way too many hostile life forms today, so I'm not taking any chances. God, why isn't it moving? Is it asleep or dead? And what the hell is it? Looks like a big scorpion. Is it a rat scorpion? Aren't they supposed to be black? And how would I even know all this? Uh, unless he's doing the whole play dead routine, I'd say it's boarded. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just another addition to things that annoy me for no fucking reason. I also seem to vaguely remember that it's a good idea to take their poison glands or something. But I don't want any venom dripping into open wounds. I don't even know what to do with them anyway. Oh my god. This town is infested with bugs! Jesus Christ, someone called an exterminator! This is unacceptable! You have no respect for the dead! Okay, boys. Are you gonna join my list too or- What the hell?! Jesus! They're shooting me! I am being shot at by bugs! I don't understand! Is this considered normal here? Oh, get out of my face! Okay, who else? Who else?! Oh, I see you. I see you right there. Alright, stay still. Stay still! There we go. And you too! You're joining him! Oh, fucking bloat flies! Of all the things I could have remembered, I had to remember you guys. And I think the nuclear war screwed up physics or something. I mean, look at this. I'm pretty sure there's a rule regarding the size of the insect and how big the wingspan have to be in order for it to fly. But here's something else I just remembered. Bloatfly sliders made for a tasty breakfast. Oh yeah, get in there. Right, come on. Just off the abdomen. Oh, that is a whopper. Alright, who's next? Yeah, you think you can shoot internal organs at me and get away with it? I could do much worse to you. Just wait and see. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, you are a fat one. I could get two portions out of you. That's right. Now you don't even have any internal organs left. What are you gonna shoot at me now, huh? You know, credit where credit is due. This knife is pretty good. I mean, it might be a bit rusty on the surface, but it's still razor sharp. That's what matters. And there's another one of you. Guess what's gonna happen next, hey? Let me give you a hint. You're not gonna like it! Oh yeah. Oh, that feels good! Yeah! Okay. Right, there should be another one of you. That's right, I count it. I count it, bitch! Try and run if you hate it so much. Otherwise, stay still and behave! Oh man. I hope it'll be at least half as fun as this when I finally catch the guy who shot me. Actually, what am I talking about? He's gonna wish he's the bloatfly by the time I'm through with him. He will beg me to send him to hell, where Satan will be like, Damn, son, you got fucked up! Oh my god. Is that... This is where they buried me. Okay. Alright, hold on. There's a lot of images flooding back into my head now. Um, yeah, I was... I was knocked out. I was bound, and then... Oh, I woke up and... There was three guys. Yeah. And... Jesus Christ, this grave is shallow. They did a pretty crap job at burying me. But I guess I shouldn't complain. Yeah, those three guys, they were standing right here, I think. Yeah, something like that. Two of them were wearing uniforms, and the third one was wearing a suit. Yeah, that must have been him. I... Oh my god, look at these cigarettes. Look at this thing. It is fancy. There is no way you can just get this from a store. Okay, I better hold on to this. 
might help me to track him down. Huh. This guy sure knows how to pick a good spot with a nice view. Makes me feel so much better for being buried here. Uh, what's that over there? Is that New Vegas? Hey! Can you hear me, you prick? I'm coming for you! And learn how to bury a body!